This is one of the few times that I will discuss a topic that is even remotely administrator related. The short version of the story is I was locked out of Authenticator as the only administrator of my developer account. Without a backup admin, only Microsoft can perform the unlock. It can be very difficult to get somebody at Microsoft on the phone to complete this process. Now, if you work for a company, your admin can do the unlock, but sometimes it's difficult to get their attention as well. All of this struggle could have been avoided if somebody had told me that the Microsoft instructions for setting up multi-factor authentication was missing a critical step. Let me save you the struggle and frustration and walk through the entire process. We're going to look at this from the perspective of a first-time user, but if you already have Authenticator set up, you can skip to the chapter that shows you how to check your settings so that you don't get locked out. For this demonstration, I am going to be Alex, a new employee at Software Success Coach. To log in for the first time, I've gone to office.com. To start the process, click sign in. You will be prompted to enter your email address, which should have been provided to you by your organization. Click next to enter a password. If you're a first time user, like in this example, that password should have been provided to you by your IT administrator. Then click sign in. Depending on your organization's security settings, you may be prompted to set up Authenticator or you may go directly to the Microsoft 365 homepage. In this example, Authenticator will be required within a 14 day window. This means you will need to download the Authenticator app to a mobile phone. This can be a personal phone or a company issued phone. Again, this depends on company policy. I'm going to assume that you have a phone with Authenticator installed. Click next to begin the process. The first screen you see will remind you that you will need to install Authenticator. Assuming you've already done that, click next again. On the next screen, it's telling you to check your phone to make sure that notifications are allowed. Then click Next. Here you will see a QR code. In the Authenticator app, go to the upper right-hand corner and click on the plus sign. Select Worker School Account, and then you will see the option to scan the QR code. Authenticator should recognize the connection and you should see your email listed in the Authenticator app. Then click Next. A message will appear saying that the setup process was successful and Microsoft Authenticator is now the default sign-in method. Click Done to continue signing in. On the next screen, you can choose whether or not you should always stay signed in. And now you are at the Microsoft 365 home page. This is where a lot of people, including myself, stop the MFA setup process, but that is where I made my mistake. You want to add a second authentication method. To do that, click on your profile icon in the top right-hand corner of the screen, then click view account. On the My Account screen, we're going to go to the Security Info section in the left-hand navigation menu to add a backup authentication method. Right now, you see that this account has a password and authenticator. When a company requires multi-factor authentication, you need the password and the authenticator code. If you lose access to Authenticator, you can get stuck in a loop where you cannot validate Authenticator access. A common cause of this is when you get a new phone and turn in the old one before setting up Authenticator on the new phone. However, if you come to Security Info first and click Add Sign-In Method, you can set a backup to avoid this loop. Click the dropdown next to choose a method. What you see in this list is going to depend on your company's security settings. For this example, we can add a phone. You may also see the option to add an email. Once I select phone, I will click add. On the next screen, I will type in a phone number that I have access to and a code will be sent to that number. Enter the code in the box and then select next. 
The verification process will be complete and now you will see three options in your security info. Even though the MFA registration process does not require you to add an additional sign-in method, it is a best practice to make sure that you do have one so that it will reduce the risk that you will get locked out of your Microsoft account.